Right, so we got here to Custer State Park last night and man we got so lucky to get these reservations. Yeah we had been searching for several weeks trying to see if there was any availability here and this is one of those places that just books up all summer long um, very early so we just randomly jumped on last week and we saw that there was three consecutive days um, so we jumped on it and we're super glad that we did. Yeah and we got a spot right next to the playground so the kids are absolutely loving it they're making friends with all the other kids. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, so we had a campfire last night as well. That was cool. We actually went up to the general store and picked up some firewood. They have just about everything you need in that general store. I almost spent a lot of money because they have some, <laughs> a lot of nice uh, hats and clothing items and stuff, but had to refrain. Uh, today, we're gonna go on the wildlife loop trail. It's what, about a 45 minute drive. Yeah, it's 18 miles. 18 miles. So we're gonna go just check it out and see if we can find some uh, Buffalo or bison, I don't know what they call them here because the sign over here says bison, but I've seen people call them, or buffalo, but I've seen people call them bison. I'm, I'm so confused at this point. I think it's interchangeable, but just see what we can find and we're gonna go for a nice little scenic drive. So we, we literally just pulled into the wildlife loop and two seconds in, we see two giant bison right on the side of the road. It totally caught us off guard, but that was awesome. Anyhow, it was uh, it was just an awesome drive. There is some uh, you know dirt roads you can take that are designated, and then they have some other mm -hmm. stuff along the way. Yeah, there's paved like the, the paved loop goes all the way around, but they have some like dirt roads you can kind of take off and go explore a little bit. It's all designated, but it's fun to go and you know feel like you're taking the back roads. <laughs> yeah, and we did see some people that would get out of their vehicle that were getting really close to the buffalo. Don't don't do that. That's not a smart move. And so uh, there's literally signs everywhere that says do not approach. <laughs> yes, they, they just really want that Instagram picture apparently. But what was even cooler for us was the next morning when we woke up and made our coffee, we had a visitor. Check it out. This is crazy. This is, li this is right behind our trailer. We're here at Custer State Park. This is awesome. How cool is this? That was pretty cool, huh? So the rest of our time in South Dakota, we actually, when we first got to South Dakota, we stayed at America's Mailbox. That's where we domiciled out of was Box Elder. And uh, 
Yeah, we got there a little too early. Uh, the water was not turned on yet because it's still spring. Mm -hmm. And so we had to use our water bladder, which we've been using often because we uh, boondock a lot. So mm -hmm. uh, check out, uh, I'll put a link down below if you're an RVer, that's a must have. Uh, we actually used it in Custer State Park as well mm -hmm. uh, because we don't have water at the site. So yeah, it's really nice because it actually opens up more options to how you camp. You know, you don't have to be hooked up to water, you know, at your site. You can go and stay at some more remote, you know, different campgrounds, different sites and things like that and the water bladder just gives you that freedom to go get water and bring it back to your trailer and we've used it a ton so. yeah we've definitely got our money's worth out of it i might order a second <laughs> just in case but mm -hmm. uh we've definitely got our money's worth out of that also when we're at america's mailbox we uh we ran into some friends jones in the travel uh if you haven't go check out their channel aaron was the one who installed our solar nice guy awesome dude uh, he's also a mobile rv tech which just happened to be like just work out great for <laughs> me because He's like one of the few people I trust working on my rig. And when we came into South Dakota, we noticed actually right when we got there uh, that one of our tires, brand new tire, the inside uh, was wearing. So so we got here to South Dakota and our uh, rear axle tire is not looking good. We just put new tires on this thing. Check this out. It's wearing on the inside heavily. Aaron helped me jack up the trailer and we check the wheel bearings and everything else and we ended up coming to the conclusion that I have a bent axle so over the next few weeks we're going to be heading to uh, Elkhart, Indiana. We were already planning on going back to uh, Grand Design, the mothership, take the American Dream back there for some warranty work so um, now we're going to be kind of reroute planning and just going straight there. This episode was supposed to be about like just things to do in South Dakota. Jody's going to write a blog on that, go check it out at roadventuresusa.com and we'll have things to do around the Black Hills. Mm -hmm. uh, if you haven't already, check out our Mount Rushmore video. That's always fun to go do. You know, there's Badlands, there's, you know, Custer State Park, and mm -hmm. Game Lodge is where we stayed. There's actually more campgrounds mm -hmm. than just that, uh, just Game Lodge. We took uh, Game Lodge because our friends Jopi Outdoors recommended it last year when we were mm -hmm. here. So yep. we got to see what it was all about. Thank you guys. It was pretty cool. It was a great experience. And yeah. Custer State Park was a bucket list item for me so I mean we were super stoked to be able to snag those um, few days on such a short notice because we really didn't think we were gonna make it this time so um, I feel really excited that we were able to check it out and we had a great time it was kind of nice because we got to just unplug a little bit um, and just enjoy camping we, yeah. don't, we don't do that often yeah so. believe it or not we live in our RV but uh, <laughs> you know you think we're camping but we're actually living most of the time and you know our time in Custer this year it was it was camping it was mm -hmm. unplugged it was just enjoying nature it was you know enjoying the, ourselves as a family and stuff but uh maybe next time we'll have to do like a road ventures meetup out there yeah we're gonna stay longer next time we're gonna plan it out in advance <laughs> yes definitely and with how popular our being is going uh we might have to plan that out sooner than later mm -hmm. so all right so we're gonna start heading east uh we're gonna limp into elkhart indiana we it sucks because we had some awesome campgrounds planned for the kids mm -hmm. we're gonna limp our way east we're gonna hopefully uh get there you know without a blowout or anything crazy we have to watch this tire this is part of it this is the other side of rv life that you know a lot of people don't talk about mm -hmm. um and we're also going to share our warranty experience and how that goes you know so we are we decided just to take it straight to the manufacturer yep. and we're going to document the experience and how it goes for us and we're excited to share with you guys how it goes yeah so in the next episode look for that uh, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and hit the thumbs up if you like this video um like i said we'll be coming back to the black hills and we will be documenting even more there's so much to do here like and so Jody will be putting that in the blog so I'll have a link down below when that's ready and we'll see you down the road.